Hellos, Tofule here. Welcome or welcome back to the Coco Lucky Pizza channel. Today we're going to talk about a highly, highly popular topic right now bronzing versus contouring on darker complexions. So, if you've ever been curious about like what the heck is a bronzer or can black girls bronze, um, stay tuned. We're about to get into it. I had done a lot of research and I've obviously swatched a bunch of products and so I kind of understand a little bit how color theory works and how products tend to show up under her complexions. Um, and so with that, we're going to just get into some of the misconceptions, the common misconceptions that are surrounding like bronzing and contouring. So the first one, first obvious one is that bronzing and contouring are the same thing, um, which they are not. Uh, from what I understand, Contouring is more of creating a shadow, so like that really chiseled look you see and something that's going to show up in like a black and white photo is what a contour is. And um, bronzing is more of like creating warmth, adding warmth to the face. So I think for darker complexions, um, a lot of times there aren't a lot of contour, uh, bronzing products out there for us, but blushes I find often provide the... Um, they you know fall under the definition of a bronzer for darker complexions because they do add that warmth um, or um, complexion powders so like setting powders or um, pressed powders can also kind of fill that void of darker of a bronzing powder um, in addition there are a few brands that do make bronzing powders for darker skin and I have a I'm gonna have a photo over here somewhere of those swatches but I'm gonna uh, demo some for you right now. So the first one that I have here is from a brand called Marina, Marina Beauté. They're actually a Swedish brand, but they're, um, this is their press setting powder in the shade Eben, Ebene or something like that. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but this is like my go-to matte bronzer. Um, and then I'm going to use, I have it in my little palette down there, a Makeup Geek contour powder to show you the difference. So this is what it looks like. Obviously, I have uh, used it a bunch. You can see it's kind of like a warm, I don't know, like a warm reddish orange shade. Um, and I'm just going to add warmth. I usually use this very dirty. Uh, I usually use this Becca brush um, and just go over my cheeks with it. So here we go. So you can see it's like very, very warm but it's still creating definition while complementing my complexion. On the other side, I'm going to go ahead and use this Dream Breaker, Deal Breaker from Makeup Geek. And this is supposed to create more of shadow. You can see it's a lot darker, a little bit more ashier. So this is the contour side. And this is the and this is the bronzing side. But yeah, so that's the first thing is that contour and your bronzing are the same. They're not. They both add kind of a definition, but they have, I guess, different purposes. So the second one is that um, bronzes have to be either they have to be matte, they have to be shimmer. I think they can be both. Um, one of the most popular bronzers of all time that has been discontinued is Shea Moisture's, um, what's it called, Mandalay Dust, which I actually have here, and it's included in the swatch that is somewhere on the screen, or was, or will be somewhere on the screen, um, and that has a shimmer to it. Um, one of my favorite bronzers currently is and this is um, one of the cases where this is actually a blush. It's the, it's the MAC Extra Dimension Blush in Hard to Get. And so I'm just gonna layer that on top. This is what I actually normally do. I'm just gonna layer that on top of the bronzing side. You can see it adds a nice like shiny quality to the face. Off the top of my head, some of my favorite shimmery bronzers would be this one, hard to get. Mentally Dusk is obviously discontinued, so but can't use it. Um, I know people, a lot of people like Ebony Bronze, the thing is called from CoverGirl, and that has a hint of shimmer as well. Black Radiance has a really, really dark bronzer called um, Blackberry, which I'll put a swatch here because it's not in the 
compilation swatches because it's discontinued as well. So it's like, it kind of sucks because I feel like uh, the third misconception is that, you know, people of color, people with darker skin can't bronze because I personally, before I got into makeup, didn't even really know what a bronzer was or what the purpose of it was. And I think it's because most brands don't either create bronzers for darker skin or um, they just, there's just not a lot, not a, not a lot of education as far as bronzing goes. Usually when a bronzer comes out, it's either like a highlighter on our skin tones or it just doesn't show up it's like the same shade as our skin because it's just like a warm kind of brown color which is a bronzer for people someone with a lighter complexion so i mean i like was floored when i found out that we can bronze so i know other brands have created bronzers and that they have been discontinued like i said shea moisture black radiance i think guillemot is actually a higher end brand that had a very popular darker bronzer that is now discontinued fashion fair had a dark bronzer that has not been discontinued and i feel like they you know the argument probably is that they're not selling but i would argue that like people don't know about them like i don't even i didn't know as a consumer what a bronzer was and that how i was supposed to use it um and so i feel like there's a lot of education missing and i feel like bronzing I, I now that i find i found out what bronzing is i i tend to bronze more often than i contour um i think on a normal day i would prefer to bronze as opposed to contour i think contouring is like for like a special occasion bronzing is more like every day it's just like it just makes your face look more lively and healthy and happy and all that good stuff um and so i hope you know this this is supposed to be like an open forum like i said i'm not an expert this is just a quick video to kind of just talk about what the difference is between contouring and bronzing, show you guys some of my favorite products. There'll be a link below with a list of all the products swatched and talked about in this video. And I would love for anyone who has any extra insights, extra knowledge, you know, anything else they want to add um, down below in the comments. I think the industry is changing. It's being becoming more accepting of diverse skin tones, undertones, etc. And so it's almost like we're all learning together. So feel free to leave a comment below if you have a question or an answer about contouring versus bronzing. Um, apart from the swatches that I show, I think some other popular contour powders out there. Here, I know Makeup Forever has some products. Anastasia obviously has their contour kit. Beauty Bakery has like a, a palette that has a good bronzer in it. Um, Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. There are a lot of um, other products out there. I think Cover FS has a good um, contour highlight palette. So sometimes you might also find these products in palettes and not on their own. But it's nice to just be able to just get, you know, a, a compact of what you need. So like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something. And please feel free to add any insights below in the comment section. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Um, yeah, so thanks guys. See you in the next video.